don't want the daisy to about. When he hangs out with a girl. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. You stood there, frozen. This relief watching over you as you watched Bakugo Katsuki, your boyfriend, laughing and chatting with another girl. Your heart sank at the sight. A million thoughts racing through your mind. Was he cheating on you? How could he do this to you? Without even realizing it, you found yourself walking closer, the knot in your stomach tightening with every step. As you approached, you tried to ignore the sinking feeling in your chest, desperately hoping that there was a reasonable explanation for what you were seeing and why they were together in the first place. Bakugo, you called out, your voice wavering slightly. As you reached them, Bakugo turned towards you, a surprised expression crossing his face before quickly morphing into one of guilt. Hey, why not? What are you doing here? The girl beside him shot you a curious glance before excusing herself, leaving the two of you alone. You could feel the tension crackling in the air as you stared at Bakugo, waiting for an explanation. What was that? You asked, your voice barely above whisper, afraid of what his answer might be. Bakugo ran a hand through his hair, his gaze shifting to the ground as he struggled to find the right words. It's not what it looks like, I swear. She's just a friend. He felt a surge of anger rise within you at his words. A friend? It didn't look like you were just friends from where I was standing. Bakugo sighed, his shoulders slumping in defeat. Look, I know it probably looked really bad, but I can explain. She's an old friend from school, and we just ran into each other. That's all. You wanted to believe him. You really did but the doubt gnawed at the edges of your mind, taunting you with the possibility that he was lying to you. I don't know if I can believe you, Katsuki. How did I know that you were telling the truth? Bakugo reached out and took your hand in his. He touched gentle yet pleading. Because you know me, Wayan. You know I would never do anything to hurt you. I love you. A lot. His words tugged at your heartstrings, and you found yourself wanting to believe him more than anything. But the doubt lingered, a shadow that threatened to tear you apart. I want to trust you, Katsuki. I really do. You said, your voice barely above a whisper. But I need some time to process this. I need to figure out if I can trust you again. He nodded, his expression filled with regret. I understand. Take all the time you need, and I'll do whatever it takes to earn back your trust. With a heavy heart, he turned around and walked away, the wave of uncertainty bearing down on you like a burden. He didn't know what the future held for you and Bakugo, but one thing was certain, your trust had been shaken, and only time would tell if it could be rebuilt. In the days that followed, the tension between you and Bakugo hung thick in the air, every glance, every touch was stained with the memory of the moment when you had caught him with another girl. He tried to push the doubts from your mind, to believe in his words and the love that he shared, but it was a constant struggle. Bakugo, for his part, seemed determined to make amends. He showered you with affection, doing everything in his power to prove his loyalty and devotion. He sent you flowers, wrote you heartfelt letters, and even cooked your favorite meals, all in an effort to win back your trust. But no matter how hard he tried, you couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the pit of your stomach. It wasn't that you didn't want to trust him. Actually, it was the opposite. But it was just that the wounds were still too fresh, the betrayal still too real, and you couldn't get in yourself to forgive him. One evening, as you sat together in silence, the weight of the unspoken tension finally began. Too much to bear. He turned to Bakugo, your heart heavy with emotion. Katsuki, we need to talk. You said, your voice barely above whisper. He looked up, concern flashing in his crimson eyes. What is it, Wyon? Are you okay? You took a deep breath, stealing yourself for what was to come. I... I want to 
want to believe you, Katsuki. I really do. But I can't shake the feeling that something isn't right. I need to know the truth. Baku's expression softens. His gaze filled with regret. I understand. And I swear to you, there is nothing going on between me and that girl. She's just a friend. Nothing more. He searched his eyes for any sign of deception, but all he found was sincerity. Slowly and tentatively, he reached out and took his hand in yours. I want to trust you, Katsuki. I really do. But it's going to take some time. So, can you be patient with me? He nodded, his grip tightening around your hand. Of course, why not? I'll do whatever it takes to earn back your trust. Just give me the chance. And with those words, a glimmer of hope sparkled within you. Maybe you could find a way to move past this and rebuild what had been broken. It wouldn't be easy, and the road ahead would be fraught with challenges. But as long as you faced them with him, you knew that your love for each other would prevail. As the days turned into weeks, you and Katsuki worked tirelessly to mend the cracks in your relationship. Through tearful conversations and heartfelt apologies, he began to rebuild the trust that had been shattered. Slowly but surely, the unease that once plagued you began to fade away, replaced by a newfound sense of security and stability. Baku had never wavered in his commitment to you, always there to offer support and reassurance whenever you needed it most. And as time went on, the love between you only grew stronger, forged in the fires of adversity. You learned to let go of the past and embrace the future together, knowing that as long as you had each other, there was nothing that you couldn't overcome. In the end, the ordeal only served to strengthen your bond, proving that even in the darkest of times, love can conquer all. And as you walked hand in hand through the streets, you know that your love for each other was then the test of time, a beacon of hope in a world that was filled with uncertainty. And, through the memory of that painful moment, it lingered in the rest of your mind. It no longer held power over your relationship. Instead, it became a testament to your resilience and the depth of your commitment to each other. And so as you walked together, under the starlit sky, the echoes of your past struggles fading into the distance. He knew that your journey was far from over, but with Baku by your side, you were ready to face whatever the future held for you, challenges or good things, and you knew that together, you could overcome anything that came your way. Thank you guys for listening to this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and goodbye.